Welcome back to SPT online classes. Today what we are going to do is a question to calculate the charge stored in the capacitor if the circuit is turned on for a long time. So what is the concept behind this question? We need to calculate of course the charge stored in the capacitor but what do you mean by turned on for a long time? You can see here that is mentioned in the question. That means the circuit has been running for a long period of time and if that happens by the time we have to assume that the capacitor is not allowing any further current because we know that if you keep if you connect a capacitor in DC circuit then after some time uh, the current won't flow through it the reason is because the potential across the capacitor is equal to the voltage difference across the source but here in this case we have few other resistors so directly we cannot say that the voltage across the capacitor is the voltage across the source so how will we solve this we need to somehow figure out the voltage across we need to somehow the voltage across the capacitor then immediately you will get the value of the charge stored in the capacitor so one thing is very clear that there is no current flowing through this line okay that means the entire current is right now flowing through the external path agreed the entire current is flowing through the external path so if that is the case we are taking you can see that the external path consists of that 5 volt source 4 ohm resistor at the top 1 ohm resistor at the bottom line which is in series with the 5 volt so the equivalent resistance straight away it becomes 5 ohms the supply is 5 volt so the current will be 1 ampere so 1 ampere is the current flowing through the external circuit path now you need to figure out okay if 1 ampere is flowing through the external path that means the voltage across this 1 ohm will be 1 volt and the voltage across the 4 ohm will be definitely 4 volt isn't it now you can see that since the voltage across the 4 ohm is 4 volt also that 4 ohm is connected exactly parallel to exactly parallel to the 3 ohm 4 microfarad capacitor path so basically the my point is you are going to get that same 4 volt you're going to get the same 4 volt across this branch also so here also you are going to get that 4 volt but we know that there is no current flowing through that middle path which is which consists of that 3 ohm resistor and 4 microfarad capacitor so there is no way that the voltage that 4 volt any any uh, fraction of that 4 volt to be dropped across that resistor because there is no current flowing through that 3 ohm so the voltage across the 3 ohm is going to be zero volt why because there is no current flowing through that if there is no current flowing through 3 ohm that means the entire voltage across that 3 ohm resistor is going to be zero but yes we know that the voltage across that middle branch is 4 volt that's because once again the voltage across the 4 ohm resistor is 4 volt which means that 4 volt will be now dropping across the 4 microfarad capacitor see the voltage 4 volt will be completely dropping it's not dropping but it will be across the plates of the capacitor okay so once you get the potential difference across the capacitor we know what to do to calculate the charge stored in the capacitor it's nothing but q equal to cv we already know the capacitance value is 4 microfarad so if that's the case then the voltage is given I mean voltage we got which is 4 volt so the answer will be 16 micro coulomb will be the charge stored in that 4 microfarad capacitor 
So here you can see the simulation of that circuit what we have discussed. So if I when I turn on this circuit what we are expecting is that the one ampere current should flow through the external path and the 4 volt should generate across the 4 microfarad capacitor isn't it so let's turn it on and let's see here here you can see the 1 ampere current is flowing through the external path only there is no absolute there is absolutely no current flowing through the middle branch and that means if there is no current flowing through the middle path the voltage drop across the 3 ohm resistor is zero that means the entire 4 volt which is dropping across the 4 ohm resistor at the top you can see that voltage is the potential difference across the capacitor plates only that's because there is no current flowing through that path so no voltage difference across 3 ohm resistor and therefore volt will come across the plates of the capacitor and if that happens since the capacitance is 4 microfarad the charge stored will be Q equal to CV and that will be 16 microcoulombs and that's how you figure out this question thank you